We've got a couple new scopes from Night Force and they're part of the NX-8 line. We've got the 4 to 32 by 50 and we've got the two and a half to 20 by 50. Now, both of these scopes have been out for a while, um, but they had first focal plane reticles. And the big story here is now that these scopes are available with second focal plane reticles. And not just any second focal plane reticle, but a really thoughtful one called the Mill CF2. Um, as you know, one of the, the historical issues with a second focal plane reticle is that the numbers, the subtension marks, are only uh, valid at one magnification range. And it's usually the maximum. So in a case of a 4 to 32 scope, you've got at 32 power, everything's hunky dory. You can hold over, you can hold off for wind um, and let her rip. But as soon as you leave 32 power, you kind of you don't know where those uh, what the, the reticle actually subtends at. So Night Force came up with a pretty slick little system. Um, if you look through the scope, you'll see the reticle, uh, and over on the left hand side, you'll see above on top of the horizontal crosshair, you'll see a 16x, and underneath that crosshair, you'll see a 32x, um, and then along. Above the crosshair, you'll see one set of numbers, and below the crosshair, you'll see a different set of numbers. And it's just like you'd think. At, uh, at 16 power, those numbers on top of the crosshair are where that reticle subtends. Uh, and at 32 power, those numbers that run underneath the crosshair are, are where the sub reticle subtends. Um, and then there's corresponding numbers that run down the vertical crosshair as well. And what those allow you to do is at 16 power and 32 power, you get very accurate holdovers for elevation or hold offs for wind. Um, got a quick little video I'd like to show you. And uh, what you'll see on the left hand side of the screen is me shooting a rifle. And on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see what I see uh, through the scope. I've got a piece of steel at uh, 600 yards. It's a three mil holdover. So I make the first shot uh, at 32 power dial down to, to 16 power, make the second shot, and lo and behold, both those rounds land right on top of each other. Um, so anyway, let's check it out. So as you can tell with that, uh, that view through the scope, there was a lot of mirage out there today. Um, that's just the southeast in the summertime. That's kind of how we do. Um, you'll also see how handy it is to be able to cut your magnification in half and still have accurate subtension on your reticle. Um, what I've found is that I'm either shooting and I want all the magnification on my scope or I want around 14 to 16 and uh, and here we've got a reticle that makes it really easy to still be able to hold over for elevation and hold off for wind. Um, other than that, these are the NX-8s that we've all come to know and love. Um, you've got a, a side focus that adjusts all the way down to 11 yards. So you know with the second focal plane reticle you can run this down to four power, shoot rim fire 25 yards and still have a really good field of view and you can see your reticle. It's crazy. Um, it comes with Digilume, right? So you can adjust uh, the illumination of your reticle. You can also choose between red illumination or green illumination. And depending on what your backdrop is, it's nice to be able to switch back and forth between red and green pretty easily. It's also really quick to adjust uh, illumination levels. Then of course, up top on the elevation turret, We've got that old uh, classic Night Force zero stop, which makes it uh, a snap to get back to whatever range you, you zeroed at. So really slick little scope. Um, the 4 to 32s, those uh, sell, those retail for a little over two grand. Um, the two and a half to 20 by 50 comes in just under two grand. So a lot of quality, a lot of features now available with a, a, a very intuitive, very well thought out second focal plane uh, reticle. Um, I'd like to thank Night Force for sponsoring this video, and if you'd like to know more about these scopes, you can go to www.nightforceoptics.com.